Welcome. Today we're going to talk about six tips on mentality, which is one of the things that most people don't talk about because everyone's talking about, you know, the most important things is obviously having good mechanics, knowing your champion, having good macro, knowing what you're doing, paying attention to the map, paying attention to the game, all of this stuff that you uh, look up and research online usually. But there is something that you need to think about before you even go into the game, which is your mentality. If you're tired, if you just came from work, if you're stressed, think about it. You're not gonna pay as much attention. You're not gonna be ready. You know what I mean? So your mental is really important. Not only for that, because uh, that's kind of obvious, but if you are not ready mentally to learn, you can watch a thousand videos and only learn like 10% of whatever you just watched, which could be a hundred hours. That's not accurate, of course, but you know what I mean. We've all been there where you listen to an entire video of an hour and you think about it and you only remember like 1% of what you just watched because you're not really paying as much attention. Moving on. Okay, so we kind of already touched on point one, which is not playing when you're tired or when you're stressed, when you had a long day. League is a strategy game. You need to be really focused while you're playing. You don't have to, but if you want good results, if you want to climb, then being rested, not being, you know, tilted, not being mad, not being tired. You may sometimes feel like you're good after an a full day of studying and working and you may not notice but you are tired you're mentally tired maybe not physically that's why you feel good but if you really focus you can tell when you're mentally tired and when you're not and it does make a difference like as soon as you start playing the first game you'll feel good you'll feel fine but if the game drags on to let's say 50 minutes by minute 20 something you're already gonna be spacing out thinking about other stuff you will notice that you need to be, you know, on the dragon that's coming up. So it's definitely not the ideal way to play the game. Now, I'm not saying don't play at all, because some of us, I'm sure, can only play the game on certain times of the day, and you don't have the whole day to play it. And the only time that you can play could be after work or whatever. But I'm saying don't just jump in into League of Legends as soon as you get home, because you're, like I said, you're tired. So a good tip to uh, be able to play, even though you may be tired, could be meditation. It's you, Everyone knows meditation is good. Uh, a lot of people want to incorporate that in their lives and they you know, have a hard time like me. But that will definitely help you feel you know, more relaxed, kind of get your mind to rest a little bit. Maybe I'd take a nap, uh, an hour and a half nap. Don't take a nap longer than that, or I don't know, 20 minutes of that. Um, those are the recommended based on the research that I've done, uh, times for, for napping. And like I said, if you don't want to nap, uh, you can just meditate for 10, 15 minutes. If, if you already do meditate, then you can do that. And that will really help kind of reset your brain to a more relaxed state, which is, you know, going to help you be able to focus and not get as tilted or not tilted at all who knows maybe you can master you know you'll get better with time uh doing this kind of stuff and i'm sure that at some point we'll be able to completely reset your mental state with uh, meditation after whatever has happened during the day and you'll be able to perform really good in league of legends by just meditating 10 minutes something like that Tip number two, learning and improving on, at the game. If you, of course, I mean, the most important thing or one of the most important things is having fun. But uh, next to that, what you could use to have fun could be, you know, setting yourself small goals or challenges that will help you, one, stay uh, focused on the game, two, have fun while you're doing it which is extremely important, especially if you grind a lot, which will be, you know, learning and, and improving at whatever specific area you want to improve at. Like you could rewatch a game, see what your absolutely worst mistakes were, you know, fixable mistakes. If you missed an ability, then that's just human. You could uh, practice 
using that specific ability. But I'm talking about specific things that can be practiced or that should be practiced for them to improve. Uh, I don't know, warding, uh, looking at the map, you know what I mean? Practicable, I guess, would be, I don't know if that's a word. Things that can be practiced, that can you can do every single game non-stop until you get it right, until you improve it a lot. Or if you don't like focusing on a single thing for a la large amount of games, if it gets boring, you could do one thing every single game, one different thing every single game. Uh, something for, for example, something for the, the early game, then for something for the late game. So you'll be doing two things. Uh, don't do too many because it's going to be really difficult to maintain your focus on what you're practicing. But focusing on one or two things should be easy enough. And that way you are not only improving at the game and, you know, keeping yourself busy. Uh, you it will help you not get tilted. You'll be focused on one thing. You don't have to, you should not worry about what your teammates are, are doing, whatever mistakes they're making will not tilt you because you are just practicing your specific challenge, your specific goal. And humans overall tend to feel a lot better when they feel accomplished. And that's done by completing small goals or big goals uh, throughout a period of time. And that will give you the confidence to play better and improve your skills at the same time. It's a win-win situation that will really help you. Point number three, can be lazy on this game. And I'm saying this from the experience of a very lazy person, which is me. Being lazy in this game does not help at all because this game is all about being focused on what you're doing, keeping an eye on everything that's going on, paying attention to the map, Overall, being as efficient as possible, and that can only be done if you're really into it, you know, if you're really focused, if you're really doing what you should be doing. Something that I figured out really didn't help was not being hydrated enough. Every time you sit on the computer and you want to play League, if you want to follow my advice, drink water right before, drink water during. Trust me, if you really pay attention to it, you will notice that you will feel a lot better. You'll feel a lot more motivated to play. You won't feel groggy, which is what happens to me most of the time. I feel really groggy. I don't want to do what I have to do. League is about, you know, the little things, being efficient. You can't just be lazy and expect great results. Also, if you don't feel like playing, if you're, like we said before, tired, you're not going to play as well because of it. You may get lazier than usual or just be lazy overall with everything. And it's just going to be harder to do the stuff that helps you climb. Tip number four, think for yourself and strive to get as sufficient as you can. I uh, subtly touched on this matter before on the previous point, thinking on ways that you can improve yourself to be way better at whatever you're doing. For example, getting better at farming, you know, practicing farming on the, on the practice tool. Some people go through the motions of the game without really thinking what could really help them, what could really get them ahead. If you're playing in the game and you miss three minutes in a row because you were typing in chat, think about that. Fix it for the next game. If you notice that you take a long time buying and you've never really addressed that, then now this is your wake up call. Go into practice tool, fix that. Or if you don't want to do practice tool, make sure for the next couple of games, like I said before, set yourself the goal of buying fast, of getting to lane fast. One small tip, right click to the border of the fountain and buy while you're walking towards there. You are doing both things at the same time. You're covering ground and you're buying. Efficiency, that's the, the key word that I can give you. Just think about efficiency, look it up if you don't know the meaning. Efficiency really helps in League of Legends. Tip number five is enjoying yourself, which I already subtly touched on, on the previous point. But aside from meditation, like I said, doing fun things, having goals, making sure you do something different every day is to add that small piece of innovation in your life it doesn't have to be anything crazy but for example if you have a drink that you really like 
right, right next to you in the computer. If you do something right, if you uh, accomplish all of the goals that you set yourself in a game, if you stay really focused, drink that. Give yourself a little reward for doing something good. You know, create this environment, uh, this reward system for yourself that really help you stay focused on what you want to do. Music. Obviously, having extremely hard rock is probably not going to help you stay focused on the game and relaxed. But I'm sure you already know the music that helps you study, that helps you focus. You can use that for League of Legends. Maybe not too loud because humans react to sound faster than they do visual cues. Having the volume of League of Legends higher than the music you're playing will help you react faster overall. But you know, you can have the music on the background kind of slow, keeping that good mood going. Tip number six. League of Legends is, you know, this is said by a lot of big streamers and content creators on YouTube. But I'm saying it again here to make sure that you understand how important it is. League is a marathon, not a sprint. And you want to really understand that it's a slow process. Staying focused on improving, like I said before, it will really help you stay relaxed. Make your mental strong against all the trolls and all the AFKs. Every time you feel hopeless, every time you feel that you're not improving as much, as fast, realize it's slow. You know, focus on the process. Focus on doing your goals. Focus on improving a little bit every day. Forget about the end goal. And trust me, if you do that, if you're really focused on having fun game to game, you will get to your goal without even realizing it. And those are my six mental tips to stay focused on League of Legends, to do better, to be ready for the game before the game even starts. If you can, please drop a subscribe or like on this video. It really, really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It's one of my newer videos, so it will really help. If you could do that, uh, if you want, go into the comments and write any videos that you would like to see. And I'll definitely take it into account for my next video. Thank you and thanks for watching.